I'm Dave Young. Today we're at the National History Museum in London. Well, the theremin bollard essentially is a 21st century theremin. It's a proximity device where um, it detects um, magnetic energy. So as you walk towards it and you break its magnetic field, you become essentially a capacitor. And the nearer you get to it, the pitch increases. So it starts low and then goes to high. I wanted to take the instrument, which is considered to be the hardest instrument to play, and make it the easiest instrument to play. I wanted to make an accessible instrument that non-musicians could play and in a sense gain a lot of the, the skills that are essential in music making such as um, listening, communication, uh, empathy and confidence. The, I suppose the soft skills which, are, uh, which we, we regard as essential with music making. I'm Rob Toulson, I work for Anglia Ruskin University and I run our Cultures of the Digital Economy Research Institute. The theremin bollards, I think they're a fantastic way of getting people to actually play and actually use music. Even if you don't know anything about music or you're not a musician or anything, but they, you're just listening and you're moving and you're creating sound. And often uh, we see people do that randomly. And, but, but eventually they'll start to work out how their movements is creating sound and they'll start to develop patterns and control. So some, something that starts out as being purely play becomes something quite technical. Before they know it, they're actually teaching themselves some quite interesting musical concepts. I felt it was very inspiring. Um, I come from an arts background um, and I used to work with dance and disability arts and I could see some really um, interesting applications for it. I think, I don't know, I think it's incredible. You can produce sound with your limbs, with your hands, just by moving and it really is an awesome experience. My name's Nick Hollingworth. I'm from the University of Reading, I'm in Systems Engineering. I think with the, the group that we're working with, with the learning disabilities, they like physical action and they respond very well to music and to sounds. I think something like a theremin would, uh, would work extremely well for them. I think they'd enjoy the physicality of it. I would hope that in the future we could maybe look at it being a, an educational tool as well, you know, for a, a class full of 30 children for instance where teaching music is quite difficult so and also you want to encourage them to be creative expressive and build build the confidence music is actually a really fantastic medium for getting people to express themselves being creative is something that that I think we should all do um, and and actually almost the level of performance shouldn't really matter I think one of the real powerful aspects of Thurman Bollards is uh, in getting people to communicate and there are there are people actually that, that don't communicate very well and We've seen with the Thurman Bollards that actually when there are two and two people one using each and they're working together And they're working in synchronization actually there becomes a more powerful kind of connection between those two people And that, that happens all the time with music in, in, in bands and things where people can lock in and, and play play well together And, and it brings a, a spark and a, what we call a pivotal moment where actually everything's locked and everything's working And the Bollards do that but of course you don't actually have to be a musician so that's really fantastic I think taking that further there's some real valuable benefits potentially for music therapy where actually uh, therapists and patients can work together in, in, in developing community, communicative interaction. <laughs> together and created a small tune and it was almost like being around a fire in Africa Yay. or something like that yeah my name is Jason Rowe I am a research student PhD research student at Lowy College of Art Vehicle Design it's amazing it's so intuitive you don't need to do any practice you just by waving your hand you can play a beautiful sound to the others so it's not only enjoyable by the listeners but also play by yourself you are enjoying it music your music itself you know in a, in a simple way this is the best intuitive, most enjoyable music instrument I've ever seen. 